Hello and welcome to another special video review. And today we've got the Furai model transformer wing blade bottle kit. <laughs> so yeah, we got uh, this is my second uh, Furai model. The first one was Devastator and it was pretty good. And I got now the uh, wing blade. So yeah, got the box right here. Nice art. A couple of uh, screens. Ooh, hello. <laughs> screens of the uh, the figure itself in the back uh, all the pieces so yeah this is a non-transforming figure it's just gonna be uh, super poseable and articulated it's pretty much it of wing blade so yeah pretty much it for the box so uh, we can try and open it up and just see what's inside so yoink Nah, I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> so there we go. Opening it up on screen. Throw this. And so yeah, the first time I made the Devastator food eye model it was pretty good. So my second experience is gonna be wing blade. So we have the instructions right here. Nice art. Got some stickers, some posability thing. And we have all the pieces. Oh, really cool. So, pretty much it. Oh, this piece is already pre painted. That's pretty cool. And we have, I guess, the face right here. Again, pre painted. So, yeah, I'm gonna start working on it and uh, we'll come back to it. So, yeah, follow me. So, a little update, and I've got maybe one hour of uh, building time, and <laughs> pretty much uh, more than halfway through. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty simple build. Uh, every piece is going together quite nicely, and there's so much articulation everywhere. It's just insane. The neck can move back and forth. It can rotate. The tight the, the joint is really tight though, so be really careful with this. We have nice detail of the head. Looks great. Uh, the arms can move up and down. Can rotate. We do have rotation here, bend here. We have the hand that's going to be a ball joint eventually. Uh, the torso has several articulations, so the ab crunch, the stomach. So, yeah, even the butt flaps are uh, articulated, so... <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Like I said, maybe maybe one hour just for all of that. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Instructions are... Yeah, okay, they're not the best. Uh, all the parts are actually drawn. They're not like uh, actual physical photos or anything. And it's quite hard to discern like sometimes what happens and what pieces because they're not colored really like you can see some piece has some paint on it well those paint uh, is missing from the, the instruction so it, it gets a little bit confusing uh, also some pieces really, it didn't happen a lot but some pieces had like uh, the sprue was on top of a connector for example like maybe kind of like this so the sprue is at the connector but the connector was so small like it was like a tiny dot like this yeah, kind of hard to see but yeah the sprue was connected to that dot so it was a little bit confusing well was it part of the sprue was it part of the dot or the the, the connector so you know be careful with that <laughs> otherwise yeah uh, instructions are pretty simple so yeah I think uh, right now I'm at the legs so the leg starts uh, right here and then I have the blade, wings, and overall assembly. So, yeah, going quite fast. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got all these parts still left. So, yeah, really cool figure so far. Can't wait man, to have it done. So, yeah, we'll come back a little bit later. And yeah, I'm finally done. <laughs> So yeah, the, the whole torso and arms sort of like took me maybe like an hour. 
with the legs themselves and the wings maybe an hour and a half just for the legs and the wings <laughs> the wings were particularly uh, intricate had tons of tiny small parts you had to hold like five different parts to clamp them together and they were all moving and uh, it wasn't fun but yeah figure itself all done and it's really nice now the stickers I gotta talk about those they they, they suck they really suck uh, either when you peel them off either you peel like the first layer like the, the chrome part and it's not sticky outside uh, it, uh, underneath or you peel off the paper underneath it like the orange paper and you, know, you can't stick it like uh, it's really bad and they are so tiny tiny like look at this uh, it's so bad so yeah they they are not fun to apply <laughs> But anyway, we don't have a lot, and it's mostly just accents or like those gold bars here, the chrome part here, the uh, insignia. They're, they're tiny, you know, but yeah, still a really cool figure, highly articulated. So yeah, the, the head, I think I already showed it, the head can move forward and back like this. She can tilt side to side, also like this. She can rotate, obviously. Her tiny little sort of antennas here on the, the head can move independently. Uh, arms can move up and down like this. Can rotate, can move all the way around, no problem. Rotate here, elbow bend. We do have the hand, which is, again, rotatable and everything. Uh, the waist, you, we can bend the waist backward. And we can bend the waist upward like this. So we need to pull this like this. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, legs can go forward. There's sort of like a, a joint here. You can see it. And then you, then you have this rotation. So you have like this. Even the bum. There's like four parts that move for the bum part. So <laughs> it's kind of intriguing, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, got this movement. You get rotation at the upper thigh. The knee bends more than 90 degrees so it's like a double joint so it's really cool the ankle can tilt side to side go up and down so yeah really cool even the toes can move <laughs> so yeah oh the wings the wings can also rotate they can flip uh, you have these tiny wings that can move down these can move side to side so yeah the wings are hell, They're, they are really fragile, so be careful with those. So, oh, I thought, uh, I think I put those <laughs> in the wrong order. Yeah, I can switch those, you can just pull it out, no problem. But, uh, yeah, uh, as for the hands, we have extra options, so you can pull the hand like this. And we can just take another hand, and with the swords, I've put them on directly. So, move the arm like this, and just put the sword in. There you go. It just plugs in really fast, really good. So again, the other arm. Pull the hand. It's just a ball joint. <laughs> Plug in the other one right here. There you go. So now she dual wheels. She is a little bit hard to stand though because she has like tiny feet so be careful with this. There you go. Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> like I said, she is uh, hard to stand. Tiny feet. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to go real, real fast just because I want to show it but yeah, she, she has trouble standing it a little bit because over tiny feet. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. I just can't pull it on camera. There you go. Now she holds. <laughs> I'm tired of playing with it. But yeah, just a quick comparison. Here's another mine of my uh, my other only one model uh, model from Fruai. So yeah, this is the Vastator. Pretty cool. But yeah, he is much bigger. <laughs> so yeah, let's put him yep, on the side. Uh, other comparison, uh, we have the Generation Wing Blade, we have the Iron Factory 
wing blade. Uh, we have what was that one? The animated one, or uh, this is the Titan Return? So yeah, got pretty much all of the wing blades. <laughs> oh yeah, really nice figure. She, did, she I do have a lot of problem making her stand because she, you know, tiny feet and uh, kind of unbalanced, but you can give her so many poses. So yeah, it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Uh, otherwise not much the, the, the build was pretty easy not much uh, bothered me about the build it was pretty solid pretty easy didn't take a lot of time to build it was an overall fun kit well yeah really a nice figure wink <laughs> trying to make her a pose but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too good at posing right now, just in front of the camera real quick. And like I said, he she is hard to stand, so. <laughs> but an awesome figure. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say about it. Just, just going to pick, pick it up. It's a really nice figure. She sells for about 50 bucks, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, I got this from SeerToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video. Go and get her. Like I said, she is really nice, really cool, nice build, nice details. Like if you can see, like there's tons of color inside the armor parts, so it's really cool. I really love this, tons of colors. So yeah, wing blade, food eye model, model kit, seriestoys.com. Link in the description. You know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Blah blah blah. I right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>